Last year, my father passed away in May, and then my mother passed away in March. <clears throat> so I've been coming up here to the property um, with my sister. We've been cleaning up the house, cleaning up the property, and probably this in June, uh, we will sign the papers to sell the property. I'm going to miss this place. Uh, this is where I've done my videos for shooting. So I'm going to have to look for a different place, possibly where I live. I, I'll go to maybe like Lake City um, range there. So this weekend, I was up on Friday and I made a total of three runs into town for metal recycling. And so the first time when I went in and I was going to get paid for the metal that I dropped off, there was a flyer there for an auction that was on Saturday starting at 930. And what interested me is they had seven, seven long guns. They had a picture of it. It was a German dagger and ammunition so i went to their website and looked things up they had a ruger 1022 with the scope they had a remington 12 gauge pump shotgun uh, it was patented in 1903 this one had a 1905 date so that kind of interested me that the shotgun or the ruger uh kind of really interested me was the german dagger and plus you know whatever ammo so i got there probably about nine o'clock just to make sure for parking and get in there and look and um i really like the german dagger i i wish i wish i could have bought it it went for about i i know it, it was a thousand dollars possibly a thousand one hundred and um it was a dress a dress dagger, a really nice scabbard, really nice hilt on it. The, the blade was really great. It was uh, had the engraving on it. I think, uh, excuse me, got gnats out and about now. Um, it probably lived for lived for Deutschland. Um, I have to double check what the motto might have been for sure. Uh, I opted not for bidding on the shotgun or the Ruger. I, I felt I wanted to focus on the ammo. And the ammo, a lot of it was in baggies, marked. Uh, there was boxed ammo also. So let me show you what I purchased and then I'll, I'll tell you what I bought it for. So, I've got 10 rounds, 7.7 .7 Jap. And some were in the mix, and they had some 6.5 stuff, so I went through it because there's a lot of 6.5. So I have two 6.5 Jap. I have 6.5 Carcano, so I've got 26 rounds. And I'll, I'll show you a closer up of these. Plus, they had they had some of the stuff on the end block. So I have one, two, three, four of the end blocks for the Carcanos. Then a bag of uh, 303 British. Uh, there's 33 rounds here, plus I bought a box of 303 British. I bought 7mm Mauser, so there's 18 rounds here. I bought 
7.5 by 55, it's Norma, and there's 16 rounds in this box. I purchased 6.5 by 55, this is the Swedish, plus there was a single one in with this mix. So I got 21 of the Swedish. Um, I don't have an M1 Grand at the moment, but I bought M1 Grand ammo. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Now, I haven't pulled it all out to make sure it's all M1. So I have that. There was a little metal stripper clip that had some ammo on it. I have this. Uh, this was in with the 6.5. This was in the 6.5. This was 6.5. This should be the older um, Carcano ammo because of the, the way the end cap, is, I mean, the base is. I have this round. So this one says USC Company. And it looks like a 17. I have no idea what this is. 30-06? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to have to just do measurements and decide what that is. This, that said, was all in the mix of the 6.5. These say DM on the top. 18, not 18, then 96, and then on the bottom, it's a, a K. Again, <clears throat> again, I'm going to have to look up the head stamp on all of this to determine and measure what all this is. So there's four rounds of that. This. And this might be a mixture. This says... RWS 65, well, 65 now. Was this made in 65? Is this 6.5? Uh, all of this, I believe, is the RWS. Again, I'm going to have to measure, look up the head stamp. <clears throat> uh, these three here. Oh, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I already showed you that. That's the Carcano. So I added up, I purchased 207 bullets, 207 ammo, plus which included the end blocks and the stripper clip. And I paid $145 for all this. That's, what, uh, 70 cents a round, I guess, if I remember my what I divided it out to be. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I acquired today. So I'll, I'll give you guys a closer look of everything here. And um, if anybody has any ideas on this ammo that I had mentioned that I'm not sure on, you know, let, let me know. I, I sure appreciate that. There's a 7.5 by 55 for the Schmidt Rubin, 6.5 by 55 for the Swede. I got the 7 millimeter Mauser. I looked at the head stamp, it does say 7 millimeter Mauser on it. Uh, my 6.5 Carcano, 7.7 Jap with the 6.5 Jap there, M1 Grand with the end blocks. The Carcano clips, just a stripper clip. I'm not sure what that goes to. Um, 
says DM on it, I think. The 303 British. And the 303 British. And then I will actually pull out one of each one of these and show you the head stamp on that. So here's the Carcano, and I have two of the round nose, bottle nose, and then one of the Spitzer. Again, I'm going to have to measure to find out or try to clean this up to see what it says to find out, you know, for sure 6.5 or the 7.35. So that's that. Uh, this one here, hold on a second, kind of clean that up, so it's the RWS 6.5, that's what all of those are in this bag, and then the last one over here, Kind of cleaned up the base on that. So it says DM1896 with the K. So this, if that's correct, you know, this DM possibly is a stripper clip for these. So again, if anybody knows about these last three, or actually the last two, um, what caliber or maker, let me know. I sure appreciate it.